I think it's about the mechanics. Iridium, what do they need the Iridium it's for? It's a stabilizing agent. So I'm just saying, take a weekend, I'll fly you to Portland. Keep love alive. Means, Porto won't collapse on itself like it did at S.H.I.E.L.D. No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. Also, means the portal can open as wide and stay open as long as Loki wants. Uh, raise the missing mass. Ship the top test. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. How does Fury even see these? He turns. Sounds exhausting. The rest of the raw materials, Agent Burton can get his hands on pretty easily. Only major component he still needs is a power source of high energy density. Something to kickstart the cube. When did you become an expert in thermonuclear astrophysics? Last night. The packet, Subic's notes, the extraction theory papers. Am I the only one who did the reading? Does Loki need any particular kind of power source? He'd have to heat the cube to 120 million Kelvin just to break through the Coulomb barrier. Unless Subic has figured out how to stabilize the quantum tunneling effect. Well, if he could do that, he could achieve heavy ion fusion at any reactor on the planet. Finally, someone who speaks English. Is that what just happened? It's good to meet you, Dr. Banner. Your work on anti-electron collisions is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. Dr. Banner is only here to track the cube. I was hoping you might join him. Let's start with that stick of his. It may be magical, but it works an awful lot like a hydro weapon. I don't know about that, but it is powered by the cube. And I'd like to know how Loki used it to turn two of the sharpest men I know into his personal flying monkeys. Monkeys? I do not understand. I do. I, I understood that reference. Shall we play, Doctor? This way, sir. <laughs> 